Hi all, welcome to part 3 of the video lecture on relational algebra. See, so far we discussed uh, most of the basic operations of relational algebra. Started with uh, the select and project operation. Then the set theoretic operation like union intersection. Uh, that set difference and uh, Cartesian product. This is what we have seen. And then we just introduced what is this join operation in the last video lecture. So, I recommend all of you to watch that last video before moving on to this. Okay. So, let me take that example uh, that we discussed there. So, from this point we can proceed. So, here I uh, hope you remember like uh, uh, we are trying to get the name of the female employees dependence. Okay. So, first we take details of the female employee like this. Then we take a cross product um, with this dependent. So, that it will pair uh, like here we have three tuples here we have three tuples some nine pairing will happen. So, out of them further we will apply a condition selection condition like a social security number is equal to ESSN and that will filter out uh, 6 of the um, pairs and uh, only 3 remain. So, that is our final result. So, always this Cartesian product followed by uh, this kind of a selection uh, operation is uh, conveying some meaning and it is most frequent also right. So, that is why we have a new operation called a join and that will do these two things together by a single operation ok. So, basically this join operation is doing the same Cartesian product followed by the selection criteria only, but now we have a different operator for doing it ok. So, this is the typical notation we are having same Cartesian product notation um, with these two sides closed with the join condition we will mention like that. See, so the join operation uh, denoted by this symbol is used to combine related tuples from two tuples uh, say two relations into a single longer uh, tuple. This operation is very important for many uh, any relational database with more than single relation because it allows us to process a relationship for example who are all the dependents of a given employee. So, employee is a, a different relation dependent is another relation right now the relationship is like dependent depends of employee similarly who are all the employee working in a given department. So, work, works for or ma who manages a de department, manages all these relationships are basically captured and meaningful informations are inferred among different relations with the help of this join operation. Okay. So, to illustrate join, uh, suppose we want to retrieve the name of the manager of each department. Simply we want to know name of name of the manager of each department and hope you remember in the department table we will maintain details of the department along with that we will maintain the manager social security number that id only but to get the name and other details of the particular person you have to refer the employee table further right so fr from employee table you will do some kind of Cartesian product right you will pair uh, with all the department entities and then those entities having this manager SSN and SSN same. This SSN is a field from the employee table and manager SSN is the uh, field that we are keeping in the department table. So, in the department table manager SSN corresponds to the social security number of the employee who is a manager. This SSN is the employee table SSN, a SSN of all employees. Now, whenever there is a match that says that this particular employee is a manager. So, if we just want to know manager's name only. So, what we are doing is we are making this join between the depart uh, department and employee entity to separate ent entity and the join condition is now the foreign key of the department table that is manager SSN and the primary key of the employee table that is SSN and we are having an equality condition there with the respect to which we will do this uh, join and uh, the result will contain all the manager employees details fully because we are taking just a Cartesian product and then a selection based on it. Now, out of them we are interested only on the uh, name of the department and name of the manager ok in the sense department name, last name and first name of the manager of the particular department. So, we are projecting only what we are interested ok. So, this is the final thing. So, this is how you can do it. So, we do this by using a join operation and then projecting the result that is uh, what is needed for us. Yeah, this is very important. So, mostly this join condition will involve uh, foreign key of one of the relation and the primary key of the other one. By equating it, we will get the relevant data. Okay. So, in general, uh, it is taking a form like uh, some uh, this notation will come then the join condition. So, now this condition can be anything you know. Uh, so, you can combine multiple conditions using this AND operation right. So, basically condition 1 
and condition do uh, i mean like that any number of conditions can be combined and each condition is of the form some attribute and an operator and another attribute and now operator can be anything from this list okay okay so, so just like the selection condition we mentioned here join condition that's all so basically when r is uh, containing say some n number of uh, tuples and s is containing some another m number of apples when you join them together basically you are getting the cartesian product that contains all attributes of um, this r and all attributes of this s together with that join condition only those tuples will be selected finally so there will be n plus m columns or attributes but uh, rows are a subset of uh, of uh, like n into m okay so totally n into m number of not n into m uh, so it is like how many tuples are there in r and how many tuples are there in uh, let the cardinality of r be um, some n r and the cardinality of s be some n s so that cardinality of this r cross s will be n r into n s now what about the cardinality of this r join s based on a join condition this will always be a value less than or equal to n r into n s ok this is what i want to tell you so worst case it may give you all entries of the cartesian product sometimes it will be a subset of it so only the combinations of the tuples satisfy the join condition appear in the results so, whereas in cartesian product all combinations are coming right so join condition generally takes this form fine so a join operation that we discussed so far with the any join condition uh, having any operation like this is what we call as a theta join so theta join is a general name where there is no restriction we basically it, it follows this kind of a structure uh, to relation and join operator and uh, any join condition now once we impose a condition for this uh, like uh, the join condition should should be equality condition right you are not going to allow greater than less than or uh, less less than or equal to greater than or equal to nothing you will just allow uh, two attributes like uh, manager assessment is equal to assessment something like this ok but in general this can be of any kind any, any any operator can come here so that is for a theta join but when you are restricting it like uh, we should have only equality condition and mostly join operation is uh, some kind of e equality operation will be involved and such a join operations are specially known to be eq join ok so theta join is a general form and eq join is what where we allow only this equality condition so the only comparison operator allowed in eq join is equal to so such a join operation is called as eq join <coughs> now eq join itself uh, let me tell you something and so in this previous example when you done this join uh, let uh, let me just show you what is the result uh, the same uh, tuples i am taking and you are doing this uh, join operation okay so what are the tuples employee names and uh, dependent sorry what are the relations so what i am doing is i am taking the table employee names then dependents and uh, instead of applying cartesian product then a selection separately i am applying the join uh, condition directly uh, with the condition like uh, SSN is equal to, hope you remember, right? Employee ESSN. Or uh, department uh, and manager, I mean, uh, employee table, uh, manager SSN is equal to SSN. Any examples you can take. So, say this is something we discussed, so I take the uh, same one. And when you are doing like this, uh, see what is the result. If you are not particularly projecting something, uh, you know the result uh, will be something in general like uh, uh, first name all columns will come last name ssn essn de uh, dependent nine relationship so the result will contain uh, attributes like uh, first name last name ssn essn dependent name uh, relationship okay and uh, other other subsequent information so, okay something like this will be the result and now in this result uh, it is not cartesian product it is cartesian product followed by the selection or a join operation with a join condition so that will give you as as we already know uh, the jo join condition is like uh, ssn is equal to 
mm, something like a ESSN. Okay, so SSN is so these two fields you are equating this. So on not on on not on only these three entries will be coming for all for all other combination these two things are not matching. Okay, so let me write it A A B C one not one. A A B C one not one here also one not one. I think this is the name and uh, other details. And uh, there is one more uh, dependent for the same person. Uh, one not one and that is uh, D two. And now for the last one, uh, what is his name? A C B B. Okay. A C B B one not three and here also one not three and this was something like D one. Okay. Anyway, name I uh, uh, for <laughs> mandatorily given like uh, so name can repeat like that. Okay. Or a different name, whatever it is you see. Now you can see this is an EQ join, right? So this is a join. Particularly, it is a EQ join. EQ join because the join condition is an equality condition. Okay. Now in this EQ join, you can see uh, if uh, there may be more entries also. For the time being, we are getting only this. So see, these two columns are containing same set of values, right? Same set of values. So it is something like a redundant, right? So you know, actually, because uh, one is foreign key and another is primary key. So when you are making that equality, definitely it will repeat. Okay, but we don't want it in the final result, right? So instead of that, we can simply maintain maintain it as a SSN and saying that it is the employee SSN also in the department dependent uh, table and SSN in the main table. So you can eliminate one of them, and uh, if you want the final result, uh, say containing only. Uh, the first name, last name, say SSN, D name, and relation. We can use a different operation called. Uh, so now we have uh, another uh, operation uh, called natural join. Okay, so we are introducing something called the employee names. So typically the notation is something like a star dependent. Okay. So we will do this is a notation for natural join. So this is a concept called natural join. So it is nothing but it is an EQ join only. But uh, um, the, you know, in the final result, these two columns, one of them will be eliminated, and the final result will contain. So uh, it is final result will contain say first name, last name, just SSN, and dependent name. Relation and other attributes, so that uh, uh, say first name will be like A A uh, B C or not one. You why why you have to repeat it two times something like this, okay? And for the other person uh, A A B C again or not one say dependent two, then A C B B or not three. So we are not going to repeat it two times. That's all. Okay. Now there is one more thing I want to tell you. So here we didn't mention the condition, right? So basically natural join. What you have to do is um you just rename one of the operator like in the dependent table we have a employee ssn but basically this employee ssn and this ssn we mean for the same thing right one is a foreign key another one is a primary key that's all but the same field and the same domain everything is same right and same meaning we are having so what we can do is using some rename operator you can rename uh, this uh, employee ssn okay so hmm, let me just write uh, right here or you just remember so here ESS in so let me highlight like this employee SSN is to be renamed renamed to SSN okay so that is something you have to keep in mind so to me for this kind of a concept to work, that is natural join. By default, you have to rename. Either SSN can be renamed to ESSN or ESSN can be renamed to SSN. Because basically, we are equating these two fields, right? So from one of the relation or table, you rename uh, that common attribute. And then you apply natural join. And that will give you the result uh, without any um, uh, repetition of uh, this particular joining attribute. Okay. So that's all. Just uh, So mostly, we have this natural join uh, because it is... A more optimized kind of concept. So that is what is explained here. So both uh, EQ join you understood what it is. Now a variation of EQ join is natural join. So notice that in the result of the EQ join, we always have one or more pairs of attribute that have identical value. So when when you are combining two relation, you will get a two mm, uh, re repetition. Sometimes three relations may be combined uh, using more than one condition. In that case, uh, some three columns will be repeating uh, whatever it is. So 
so that is why in general one or more pairs of attributes may repeat right their values because of uh, because one of each pairs of the attribute with the identical value is superfluous you can see that they are ssn and essn essn one of them is superfluous right say a new operation called natural join denoted by the star was created uh, to get rid of the second superfluous attribute so simply we eliminate the second column uh, as a superfluous attribute in an eq join okay so it's a variation of eq join only the standard definition of natural join requires that the two join attributes have the same name so this is the kind of requirement we are having so you just rename one of the uh, attribute to uh, the name of the other one okay which you are meant so the rename operation is applied first followed by the join okay natural join <coughs> yeah in this uh, see uh, this is how you can apply rename even though i taken a different example where i written so um, suppose you are interested to know what is written here suppose we want to combine the project table with the department which is controlling it you know every project is having a control department and for a particular project suppose we want to know controlling department um, name of the controlling department or sometimes we want to know name of the manager of the com controlling department see now listen to my question uh, you you are interested to know name of the manager of the controlling department of a given project see now three tables are involved actually because project table will contain details of the project and the controlling department number will be there in the project table and using that you can have a cartesian product or a join with the department table okay uh, join or cartesian product followed by selection with the department table now you have information about the project and the de controlling department name and all other things now how to get the manager details again from the department table you have to perform another join with the employee table from which you will get Mm, details of the manager and uh, name whatever it is so now this join operation is uh, in involving three entities okay so now it is a th th uh, binary ternary uh, kind of um, join okay so like that mm, it may happen and it's a very uh, meaningful uh, kind of question also they can ask you you should be able to do it okay now here we are talking about uh, just a join between the project table and department table maybe we are interested to know more about the, the, the controlling department of the given project so project and department table uh, just uh, mm, remember like in the project table i think we have a dnm as a field okay so that is the foring key to the department table mm, by which the, we will be getting more details or insight about the uh, controlling department of this given project now in the department table this uh, department number was having some other name i'm not remembering it may be d number or d and no i think it is d number i think in the in the department table we are writing it like a d number here it is d num so what we done is that d number we renamed to d num okay so in the department table we have fields like a department name department number d number i i, I remember so okay you cross check that uh, relation schema okay uh, manager ssn manager start date these are all the fields we were having and out of them just this d number alone we renamed but this is a syntax we are having row for rename operator uh, first one you keep as it is second attribute name you change it to d num then other other things you keep uh, as it is so after doing this rename you apply this uh, what is this uh, the star operator that is the natural join and that will now you know in the project table we have uh, um, this dnum field here also we have this dnum, DNUM field so this is basically uh, it is equating this dnum with uh, this dnum okay yeah and that will happen so if you want you can do it in two steps like first you uh, rename and store in a different table and then you apply this natural join anyway both will work okay now you can see that um, in the department table as well as in the project table we have a field dnum which is common okay actually in the project table it was having a uh, department table it was having a different different name that we renamed it to dnum okay now it is a common attribute mm, so this is uh, something known to be the join attribute because the join operation is happening by default uh, equating this particular field from both of the tables okay so uh, for natural join this join attribute is something important you have to rename and you have to make sure that the join attributes are having the same name in both relations then only this natural join will work so we are not explicitly mentioning the joining condition here so it will um, by default assume the joining condition to be an eq join among the um, i mean between the join attribute of the both the tables got it right
so that about it now some smaller terminologies like uh, join selectivity just like uh, selectivity of the select operation here also how many uh, tuples are being selected by the join operation uh, with respect to the cartesian product for example here if you are looking at this uh, Cartesian product is giving you some nine tuples, but join operation uh, is uh, join condition is giving you three as a result. So the selectivity of that join condition is three out of nine. Okay, something like that. Okay. So notice that uh, if uh, no combination of the tuples satisfies the join condition, the result of the join even may be empty. So we we don't know the result may be empty. Sometimes uh, nobody is matching it or. Uh, uh, it, it may be the complete set also. So, always the cardinality of the join is minimum 0 and maximum nr into ns, where nr is the number of tuples in the relation r, ns is the number of tuples in the relation s, and we are making a join between r and s, okay. So, wh why this maximum? Because this is the total number of uh, tuples in the Cartesian product. So, in the worst case, if the join condition is uh, in such a way that it is satisfying all uh, elements of the Cartesian product, then accordingly you will get, it, get this, okay. So, always you, you will get uh, the cardinality of the join operation uh, as a range from 0 to nr into ns. Okay, and this uh, particular value, maximum size or um, with respect to that, what is the actual size is what we call as the um, join selectivity. Okay. Now, if there is no join condition, you just write like uh, uh, employee and uh, department. Simply, if you are writing like this without any join condition, you will get the result as Cartesian product because uh, we don't know uh, because ca basically join means what Cartesian product followed by a selection criteria. But selection criteria condition or condition is to be mentioned by join condition right. So as it is missing means you are not doing any selection simply you are doing Cartesian product. So this is equivalent to so this is equivalent to what employee Cartesian product department. If you want it to be different you have to mention the join condition clearly. Yeah, now uh, the type of join that we discuss so far is what we call as the inner join and it is uh, now we are going to introduce something called as outer join. Okay, so basically outer join we will see soon. Mm, so that is a different concept where we will add some more elements into the uh, final result and there is something called as the n-way join also. For what we see, uh, what we discuss so far is a binary join like that. Uh, now you can think of a ternary join like the example I given you like uh, who is a manager of a controlling department of a given project okay so that was three way join so similarly in general you can think of an n way join yeah same example is being explained here as a as an example for a three way join from project and department uh, d, d num uh, yeah department this is what I saw told you like d number uh, when it comes to yeah here something is missing <laughs> that join operator is missing right yeah, here you have to write like this and then join condition. So, here also, yeah. Uh, the project and the department, you are doing this Cartesian product and you are using this uh, as the uh, selection criteria. Uh, if it is natural join, this D number is to be uh, renamed to D num, okay, something like that. That is what we done before, but here it is just an EQ join. Mm, right now the result you are further uh, doing Cartesian product followed by a join condition that is uh, I mean Cartesian product followed by a selection that is nothing but a join with a join condition manager assessment is equal to assessment. So, this is a three way join right because we are trying to join three uh, different uh, relations using this. So, like that you can think of a n, n way join. Now, what is this outer join concept? Uh, Let us see it is a very simple thing. So, it will do uh, just like the join operation. I think you can take this example. Yeah, everywhere it is better to follow the same example. So, here you know, uh, in, in this case, what happened is like uh, whenever there is a match, you are selecting uh, and you are outputting it as a result of the join condition, right? Now, when it comes to outer join, in addition to this matched pairs, what we will do is we will include all elements of the first relation. For example, here. 101 and 103 are participated in the join and the, in the final result this 101 there is an entry 103 also there is an entry but for 102 there is no match right because 102 is not getting matched with any of the entry so in the final result this 102 will also come but as there is no match in the other side all other entries it will simply keep us null okay something like that so that is what we call as a uh, so, let me give all the examples here itself. So, here uh, what we discussed is EQ join, natural join. Now, we are going to see the result of outer join from this point. Okay. So, outer join is basically, uh, 
or we may take a different example why the same example everywhere so uh, i will explain this in a general way that will be fine so when it comes to join you know there is a join condition mm, basically you can visualize this join as something like this so this is on relation i am having so this is a set uh, of tuples for this uh, particular relation so there are many tuples now there is uh, another relation i am having say s okay now uh, these are all the tuples which are meeting the criteria of join okay so uh, all tuples satisfy join condition okay join condition typically if it is a eq join some equality condition okay so this is what is coming in the final result of the uh, so this is the result of the all tuples that satisfy the join condition is what is coming as a result of r join s with a condition c okay let the condition be c okay now when it comes to outer join so we basically have a something called as the left outer join for left outer join we denote uh, left side there is a mark like this okay okay and another thing we are having is a right outer join say r join operator okay then you open this side okay this is our right outer join so if it is a left outer join it is just like you include all the attributes which are satisfying the join condition i mean this side and in addition to that you include everybody from this side also as there is no matching i mean the, you, uh, these things are not uh, meeting the join condition what you will do uh, for them you will pair with the, uh, some null value okay as it is not matching with the some value from this uh, this side this s side okay so this is the result of the left outer join and in the right outer join what will happen it will contain all the common elements and the members from the other side which are not paired uh, as part of the common element okay so this is my uh, r and this is my s and this is the result okay now finally we have something called as a full outer join full outer join both side you will open up and we will write like this and there is a join condition so now you have uh, the common element and the elements uh, from this side uh, with uh, some null as a matching and elements from this side with the uh, which are so that doesn't say so th this doesn't means that it is the cartesian product see cartesian product is something different cartesian product we will pair everybody but here uh, we are not going to pair this one with the somebody from this side instead we will uh, see uh, make that joining attribute like uh, some null 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 uh, like that okay so I, I may take an example and explain so that it will be clear Yes, I'm just randomly taking an example, say R and S two table with attribute A1, A2, A3 and for S, B1, B2, B3 and these are all the entries I am having. Now tell me if you are doing a normal join operation, uh, some kind of EQ join operation with the equality condition say A3 is equal to B1. Suppose uh, this number uh, attribute A3 and B1 is my, uh, I am comparing and that is taken as a join condition and uh, you are taking the result like this okay now this is one thing can you tell me what is the result now same thing um, instead of that suppose you are taking yeah so first uh, so this is one operation i want to know another thing i want to discuss is uh, the same thing only but uh, left outer join okay something like this with the s same condition only i am applying a3 is equal to b1 let's see the result okay now followed by I am interested to know uh, this uh, mm, R right outer join also uh, for the condition A3 is equal to B1 and here also let me take uh, R full outer join also finally okay so both side open yes so let's try the result so basically you know whatever be the join it will be uh, giving you so let me draw the structure first it will take time see um, the structure is drawn uh, see it, it will contain all attributes from both uh, both the tables basically uh, whether it is inner join outer join or whatever it is it's doing cartesian product followed by the selection condition only and something more when it comes to outer joins okay so yeah so let's see the inner join that is something we all are familiar with uh, like uh, if you take the first uh, one this particular one it is being uh, mapped with uh, this b1 the first two tuples of this right so this hundred and uh, this b21 b31 will come now for the same one again there is a map uh, match like uh, 
for the second row of the s also uh, matching like b22 and b32 so we can see this is getting matched with this one on this one okay so that is what what we see so we got these two entries now if you are looking at this 101 there is no match so this is not going to be paired with any one of them and if you are looking at this 102 it is getting matched with this one so there is one pairing okay so that is the final result that is uh, a13 a23 okay 102 and here also 102 uh, see yeah 102 and not 102 there the uh, field is like b23 right b23 and finally here it is b33 okay now uh, whether it is inner join or outer join these three uh, combinations are same for all of them just like th these things are actually coming as the uh, middle part right this middle part will come here 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 and there here everywhere this middle part will come so let me just repeat this middle part in uh, uh, means in uh, all others Yes, uh, so uh, this uh, middle part is repeated everywhere. Now, when it comes to left outer join, you know some some of the pairs which are not uh, having that uh, which which uh, couldn't follow that join condition, uh, which are left out at this R is also included in the final result. That is left outer join, right outer join. This from this side, this is included. Uh, full outer join from both side. Okay. Now see why I taken this example. It is not Cartesian product, but something else. Okay. So just focus what is happening here. Yes. Mm. Let me highlight them using this black color. Okay. So what I am uh, doing is see from R table. I got a pair for this uh, this one A one one right. This hundred. I, I got a pair for this one or two also. But uh, this for this one there is no pair right. So I am just focusing on uh, that one. I'm just writing that particular person like uh, A12, A22, 101. This is the only person who didn't get a pair. But in the final result, I'm interested to know something about this person also. So I will include him. Then I will just make uh, the remaining information of him as null because I'm not getting a pair. So this is the result of left outer join. And similarly, tell me what will be the result of the right outer join. Just look at this. This 100 is getting a match. This also getting a match. 102 is also getting a match. And this 103 is not getting a match. So what you have to do is you have to include that 103 here. In the sense here, you have to include, right? 103. Okay. Uh, B24. Uh, b34 and there is no ma pair here so you will simply make it make it as null 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 so both side if you do the same you will get the full outer join so when it comes to full outer join uh, this uh, 101 will get a pair i mean null 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 this this will also include it okay these two people will come so let me mark them there w what i mean is they are not having a pair at the other side okay uh, so what we will get is finally a12 a22 101 he is not getting a pair like that so you will just write li like this null 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 and similarly here uh, i am not getting a pair matching at the beginning so null 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 and finally here it is 103 mm, b24 and b34 okay so hope you got it so this is not a cartesian product actually we may feel like that but from the set the set diagrammatic representations that is why i highlighted it like this okay uh, so that's all so this is full outer join okay uh, see uh, now if you are taking cartesian product you will here i have a three tuples here i have four tuples there will be 12 tuples in the result but you are getting something different okay so what is this this is your inner join operation inner join and this is your outer join outer join what kind of outer join left outer join outer join and now here you have the right outer join operation here it is the full outer join operation hope the examples are uh, clear okay so left outer join operation keeps uh, every tuple in the first uh, or the left side of the relation if no matching tuple is found it will uh, simply keep the uh, information as null okay similarly right outer join this is a notation so full outer join in both side we will do the same okay yeah that's all uh, we may see meaningful examples and all in, in our subsequent discussion yeah anyway this is fine 
yeah that, that about it uh, thanks for watching if you have any doubt uh, you can clarify during our discussion class or any any means okay you can put it as a comment in the video uh, youtube video also fine thank you